có ship air rồi ok là như ngày uh, mệt mỏi thì uh, tôi sẽ quay lại công việc thôi bỏ uh, nhiệm vụ uh, nhiều ngày quá rồi Đấy. chúng ta sẽ đến với uh, nhiệm vụ cuối cùng để kết thúc cái event uh, À, liên quan tới Abido Đây. Rồi Ờ à, quên thế lời anh em nè Chào mừng anh em quay lại kênh Đấy Tại lâu ngày không quay clip rồi Chặt chuột uh, Bài vỡ Ở tập trước chúng ta đã biết có heo Sau khi tiêu diệt các cây hoa Ờ uh, Giả dạng thành Abido Đấy Ây dạ Quên bập từ đầu Thì ờ uh, nó bị tiêu diệt rồi nhưng mà khúc cuối lại lòi ra thêm uh, một con uh, một thằng Abido nữa không biết là thật 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 giả giả là tôi không biết tới sao Suffering, the Whopper flowers finally took on a human form. Then they stood by the side of the mountain to wait for unsuspecting bypassers. To whoever spoke to them, they would ask some questions such as, Who are you? I? Who are you? If the bypasser got the wrong answer, the last sound they'd make would be a yell. <cười> giọng kể nghe rất là hay chứ trong chị cảm hứng nhưng mà cái uh, hoàn cảnh nhân vật thì em không chị cảm hứng lắm tại vì nó không mơ mẹ kè trời ơi Whopper flowers would ambush and then completely replace their victims. And then what? Go back to where the person lives? Enter their home? Eat their whole family? Paima <laughs> <laughs> uh, made up this story, but now Paima's the one who's scared by it. It's a good story. May I write it down? I may bring it up in future conversations. What for? Just to scare people with? Yes. You've got a real mean streak, Albedo. Mine is a little longer than yours. It starts with an alchemist. A great alchemist once created Subject One. Subject One was her proudest achievement and successfully blended into human society. No one ever would have thought that this friend of theirs was in fact a synthetic human. However, Unbeknownst to Subject One, the alchemist had tried the same experiment many times before he had come into being. Some of the rejects from failed experiments but had not died. Subject Two was one such failed experiment. He was swallowed by a great dragon that came to rest upon a snow-swept mountain. He saw all kinds of people on the mountain, including Subject One, who had somehow miraculously blended in among them. Never in Subject Two's wildest imagination had he thought it possible for experimental life forms such as they to deceive everyone so successfully. He saw the way humans accepted Subject One as a friend, witnessed their affection as they addressed him by name. This was what Subject 2 wanted. Now, all that Subject 2 desired was to replace Subject 1 and take the joy of his existence for himself. Uh, this is giving Paimon the chills. Cái gì đâu là người? Tại trên núi tiếp mới lạnh rồi. He stole Subject 1's blood cells cửa nhỉ? and studied all that Subject 1 had learned from the alchemist. Subject 2 was highly intelligent, and he learned quickly. He changed his face into an exact replica of Subject 1's face. Then, he found a plant with ah. capabilities, and transformed it using dragon blood and alchemy. 
And so, not only did Subject 2 transform his own appearance to perfectly match that of Subject 1, he also created a third entity, Subject 3. What? There's three of them now? But Subject 2 wanted to become a perfected human. So, he erased a mark in both his and Subject 3. Ah. For these marks, Thằng Abido đang, đang nói là hiện tại là số 2 nó nó gợi ý kìa. In my view, it was probably a subconscious act, an instinct. He so desperately craved to become a perfect human being that he forgot something. Human beings are defined by their flaws. Subject 2's plan was meticulously crafted. Subject 3 would draw subject 1's attention. After Subject 1 disposed of Subject 3, he would assume the threat had now disappeared and would let his guard down. The next moment that Subject 1 was alone, Subject 2 would make his move. He would eliminate Subject 1 and become the only one remaining. He would secretly replace the Subject 1 of everyone's memories and inherit his identity, residence, clothing, sword, name, and friends, people would have no idea that the individual they knew had become somebody else from one day to the next. Uh, uh, this is way too scary. Paimon's never gonna be able to trust anyone again. But just before Subject 2 could carry out his plan, a unique stranger entered the mix. Subject 2 tried to make contact with this person but found that they could somehow sense he was different from Subject 1. <sighs> What's wrong? Are you scared? What happened to you? You became a new stage in Subject 2's plan. Mặt của nhà lưu hành như kiểu what the fuck này nó kể cái câu chuyện gì vậy? Chỉ có vay môn là giống như đứa chơi hơi đi sợ mấy này Ờ Chạy chết Ê bức canh dễ vay môn rồi Không treo đây nữa Vậy gì treo hay đi chui Trời ơi dễ bức canh vay môn thiệt là đẹp luôn Vậy gì treo hay đi chui Muốn đâu kiếm á if the inferior specimens wanted to conceal the fact of their worthlessness, they would have to. Ah, đúng rồi, cái bức tranh đó là giờ mình có thể trang trí trong giờ ấm trần ca nha. This is exactly what Subject Two was thinking. So, he hid in the shadows and waited patiently. Maybe soon. À, chỉ nhận được cái đó khi hoàn thành nhiệm vụ thứ hai thôi. Nhiệm vụ thứ hai của Ivan. Thấy thì nhiệm vụ Ivan này có ba cái nhiệm vụ. Fortunately, Meta is just a story, and even in this story, Subject 2 did not succeed. But you can never let your guard down on Dragonspine. Monsters mutated with Durant's power and blood are also creatures of Rhine Daughter, just like me. You must beware of all such creatures. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. It's okay. I know what I am. You and I are both different, so there is no need for me to hide the truth from you. The only thing is that sometimes, when I think about how mighty the power of alchemy is, I feel so small. As beings who set foot in this world, how arrogant are we in desiring to control our destiny and in desiring to create? Is creation an arrogant act, Traveler? If not, why do we call the ones that created us and control us gods? If it is, then what qualifies us to call ourselves creators? How far must we take our reverence and respect? And what purpose does it serve? Nothing special. But whenever I think about it, I feel a twinge of grief. Cái tội đó chịu vậy? Cho tao thấy cái thằng Abido thứ nhất kia xuống bạn. Ai 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 ai. Suko. Ah, tới Suko. 
We're here to deliver a message from Cyrus. There's gonna be a big event down at the base camp, and they want you there too, Traveler. Winter camp is nearing its end. Apparently, even provisional instructors are required to attend. Looks like we need to go, Albedo. Bye for now. Then I won't keep you. I have some things to attend to here, so forgive me for not seeing you down. Don't worry about it. There have been no issues getting up and down the mountain recently. Is everyone ready? Let's not keep them waiting. Go ahead. You're one of their instructors, no? Rồi, teo lên xuống dưới Chả ai cũng đi bộ đâu Allow me to introduce Yozer. He's Joel's father. Ooh, yeah, thằng này, thằng này đã tiêu được bố à? Hay à? Dad, this is that traveler I was telling you about. The traveler's thằng này sẽ, thằng nhóc này sẽ giao cho bà cái nhiệm vụ mà đi uh, đi thả cái cái gì, cái 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 quả gì trên cái uh, gì á, thả năm ngày thì được một cái rương. Cái rương nó sẽ cho một khoáng mã não ủa cái gì cái cái gì nạp cho cây 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 gì ở tới lâu tích tích sơn tôi biết sơn tôi lâu rồi tôi chơi tôi cũng quên mất tiêu rồi nói chung vậy cái làm vụ hay nhiệm vụ nó dùng cái quả gì đó cái thằng ba lăm lộ bạn mấy bạn còn nhớ là cái 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 thằng này là thằng bóp giấy mình trong cái sự kiện uh, ra bắt lâm tích tích sơn nữa But I had only been away from the group for a short while when I fell down a slope and just started rolling. Uh oh. Did my bad luck rub off on him when we ran into each other on the mountain? The place I fell to was somewhere I didn't recognize and I'd sustained a few injuries. I remember thinking to myself, this is the worst luck I've ever had in my whole life. Uh. Then I met Yozerv. He'd heard the sound of me falling and came out to see what was going on. Huh? Wow! So it was completely by chance then! I thought he must have been someone from the Adventurers Guild here for the event, but after a few words of conversation, it was clear that he was having memory problems. He didn't even know his own name. The temperature was freezing, and there was no time to deal with all that there and then. So I convinced him to come back to the camp with me and figure everything else out after we got there. We got back to the camp, ran into Joel, and the moment he saw him, he froze for a second with this completely stunned expression on his face, and then he started crying out, Dad! Dad! That's when Yozerv suddenly started to remember. My memory has still not fully recovered, but Joel and his mother, they are the only ones that I will not know, that I cannot forget. Daddy. <laughs> Daddy's right here, Joel. Daddy's right here. Yo, sir. Don't you remember anything else at all? The poor princess feeding the foxes? The boy talk cow ăn. I'm I'm sorry. I I have no recollection. Maybe it's because of the head trauma. I I'm not sure. Không ngờ mấy mối còn nhớ ha. Đúng là chỉ chỉ nhớ hơn người rồi khác. Cũng không thực sự vô dụng lắm. And there was nothing to indicate who I was or how I got there. I crawled into a cave and and settled in for a slow recovery. 
After my legs and feet were a little better, my hunting skills were what kept me alive. Dad, I was so worried about you. I'm all right now, Joel. Oh, don't cry. Daddy's not going anywhere. I'm here to stay. Oh, this is good. This is good. <cười> you know what though? I definitely think my luck got worse after running into the Làm chứ, chắc phải đi đây. I knew it. Ở ra ba cho bên đi đây. I I just No, no. I just meant if it weren't for you, there's no way I ever would have run into you. Kiểu như nó không có chạy đạt cái cảm. Hai cha con nó không chạy cả, nó cái cảm xúc gọi là gì ta? Buồn. Sometimes miracles can only happen when you get just unlucky enough. Pallet. <cười> When did you become such a smooth talker, huh? Huh? Am I? I I was just <cười> telling the truth. Oh yeah. I want to say thank you to to the traveler Uncle Cyrus and to Eula and Auntie Amber. Thanks everyone. You all helped look after me and I will always remember it. But I guess I can't take the snowman with me. Or it'll melt once it leaves Dragon Spine. It's such a shame. Oh, I can help with that. One moment. Huh? You? Here, take this. It's powdered rime. Just add it to your snowman, and it will never melt. Wow! Really? Oh, this is awesome! You're the best, Auntie Eula! Dad! I have an unmeltable snowman now. <laughs> How cool is that? How can I ever repay you all? Thank you all. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Dad, I want to go move the snowman. Can we do it now, please? Okay. I'll be leaving with Joel now. I'm sure I'll see you all another day. Very well, very well. It's time for Pallet and I to have another discussion concerning his <clears throat> breaches of adventurer discipline. Huh? But, but Cyrus, I think I kind of made up for my mistakes this time, you know? <laughs> See you guys! Oh, I made this for you and Amber. Think of it as a winter souvenir. Ooh! Are you sure? This must be really important to you. Yeah. Come on now, just take it. No need to make such a fuss. Wow! Now our snowman won't melt either! Great! You're welcome. Just keep it, that's all I ask. Amber and I have some business to attend to now. See you later. See you! <sighs> Everyone's gone! Mm. Bỏ quà đó là con người tí trong trai trí trong cái chấm ấp trần cà Giờ mà nhớ tới ăn uống hả trời Đâu, nhiệm vụ của con á Ghê Tôi tưởng hết chứ ai ngờ vẫn còn Sao không tự động? Trời ơi! Ờ, lát ra, ra, ra phải chỉnh rồi. Ủa, lát 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 ra phải chỉnh rồi. Hmm. In the time it would take me to research something like that, I could probably pick those sunsetias again ten times over. New research project, Timaeus? We meet again. 
Oh, Albedo, thank goodness. Uh, so the situation is, Paimon wants a machine that can turn fruit into juice and keep the juice fresh. I mean, surely it's... Majorly important, that's what it is. If you can manage to invent this, we'll never have to worry about fruit going bad ever again. Hmm. That's impossible. Hey, no, 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 no. Turning fruit into juice is not hard, but keeping it fresh is more difficult. Oh yeah, mới mới thấy là cái thằng lúc trước chúng ta gặp là nó nó đi nó không có cái 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 gì cái đánh dấu ở trước cổ. What about his neck? What's wrong? Is there something on my neck? From the look on your face. It's as if you thought I just played a practical joke on you that wasn't exceedingly poor taste. Albedo, you were saying, how do you stop fruit from going bad? Well, one way would be to bury your fruit on Dragonspine, where the snow never melts all year round. But then Paimon won't be able to eat them! You could always live on Dragonspine. Or you can give the fruit to me, and I would take it to Dragonspine for you. But since you don't like the cold, you'd have to send someone else to pick them up when you want them. This is where you come in, Traveler. Suddenly sounds a lot more feasible with other people doing all the work. Hmm. Okay then, shall we go with that idea? Fruit buried on Dragonspine will stay fresh for much longer. However... It is also possible that the fruit will sprout and grow into fruit. Cái cây và nước lạnh nó cũng nảy mập nè. Ồ, ví dụ lý vậy. It will have grown into an orchard. You can water. Anh là hạt giống nó không không được không nở được chứ. And when they find a new cái gì nó được chết tiết. I quên đi là game mà. Không thế nào áp dụng logic của bình thường vào đây được. Ấy trời, tôi đã sai nữa rồi Ây da Albedo, stop trying to get your hands on Paimon's super sweet sincerias It bothers you, does it? Sao thằng Albedo thì cũng... Thằng Albedo thì là giả nè À, mấy đứa Amino thật vẫn còn đang ở trên trại trên Lâm Tích Tí Sơn Ok, but they're just sensitious I think you're only so attached to them Because you don't have much fruit of this quality in your position Thằng này nó cứ giật thật giả giả nhất đầu Không có người nào phân biệt được nào thì nào giả luôn Rồi, sau khi uh, làm vụ xong thì sẽ mở cái cây cuối cùng Đây Sẽ để kiếm được thật tiêu người thật Nhiệm vụ dài mới cướp mà cho ta có 30 người thật Ú, ba thiệt Phải chết nhiều lên chứ Trời ơi Nó hiện mấy cái nhiệm vụ một tiếng đúng không? Mà phải cho mình gỡ nhiều 90 thật Ý giời Hoặc uh, 120 Nhiệm vụ một tiếng thì như cái trò 60 vậy Nhiệm vụ này nhiều Như uh, 30 phút 30 phút cái trò 30 thật Game được à. Đúng kiểu hút máu
Ăn chế nhanh cho lẹ Còn chú còn chưa làm cái này nữa <cười> Cái nhiệm vụ đó liên quan tới chó xí bà Mà chưa rành đi làm Ok à, Quay xong rồi À, được rồi video này thôi cảm ơn anh em theo dõi nha hẹn lại anh em vào những video sau à, cũng uh, video hôm nay không bị lạc gì ok đó. chẳng có thể uh, tiếp tục của hành trình